Suicide rates for veterans are significantly higher than the rate of civilian suicides. Some studies say more than twice as common. And many of those veterans suffer from PTSD. Some current and former soldiers are ready to tackle the issue and the world's tallest mountain too. I can show people that, yeah, you know what, I've got one leg, but I can climb this mountain. Yeah, I have a minor traumatic brain injury, but I can climb this mountain. Yeah, I have post-traumatic stress, but I can climb this mountain. Anything is possible. Chad Jukes is one of the members of the USX Veteran Everest Expedition in Nepal as we speak, ready to climb Mount Everest. Second Lieutenant Harold Earls will be climbing with him. And recently I spoke to Earls about their mission. I actually came up with the idea in my barracks room back at West Point when I was a cadet. I did. So what made you think of this? Um, you thought about a physical challenge, Mount Everest, right. to help people with a mental challenge? Right. So I originally, when we came up with the idea, um, I reached out to the public, Army Public Affairs, and they were like, hey, no active duty soldier has done this that they knew of, and, and no combat wounded veteran has ever done it. And so we thought that would be neat to do, but we wanted to do something you know, more, more than ourselves, that we could actually make it an impact. And so that's where we decided to, to climb for shoulder mental health, for PTSD. For people who aren't that familiar with PTSD, it can last for months, even years. It can increase the suicide rate, which is triple of what the suicide rate is for civilians. But it's not a life sentence. You can overcome this. Exactly. And so that's the story that we want to tell is that, you know, although we're climbing Everest, which is physical in nature, that everyone has their own Everest to climb. And while, unfortunately, some of our soldiers are, are cli you know, climbing their own Everest of, of PTSD and trying to overcome that. So tell us who's going on this expedition and if you're nervous at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely anxious, so I'm taking part. I'll be one of the climbers. Um, and then we also have, so we have Staff Sergeant Jukes. Uh -huh. um, he's an amputee. Um, he actually lost part of his leg to an IED in Iraq. I mean, he's incredibly resilient. And just the story that he can tell, you know, and hopefully inspire not only our soldiers, but different people throughout our country that they can do, you know, incredible things, even though he has one leg. So we'll have Summit Climb, they'll be with us. Um, and then we'll also have some Sherpas going with us as well. What are you hoping to get out of this and help your friends as well? So our whole goal with this is to make a difference on our soldiers by raising awareness and funds for shoulder mental health. You know, for me, summoning Everest is a very small part of that. If I could get back and one person is like, hey, you made an impact on me or you helped me and I was struggling with post-traumatic stress or, or even with a point of suicide, to me, like, that's everything. And that's the whole reason why we're doing this is to hopefully make a positive difference. And we're thinking about them today as they climb Mount Everest. We do want to thank Second Lieutenant Harold Earls. And to follow the team, go to our Weekend Express Facebook page. We'll have details there.